Hi everyone. The uh, second historical number system that we're going to be examining in this class is the Babylonian number system. Babylonian numbers emerged from uh, basically a region of the Middle East um, and Babylon is right here in that area. Uh, what is uh, some modern-day Iraq. And this is in uh, from about 2000 BC until about 500 BC. So one of the uh, actually it's one of the nice things about studying historic number systems is you learn that mathematics is a, a worldwide phenomenon. It's a human activity. All right, so the Babylonian number system used three essentially three uh, symbols. Uh, a symbol for one, a symbol for ten, and a placeholder. These symbols were written in groups using a base 60 uh, place value. And what that means is uh, the groups had value, each group. Uh, the first group was had a place value of 60 to the zero or to ones. The second group was the number of 60s that were in, in the number. The next group was the number of 60 squareds or 36 hundreds in the number. Uh, the next group up, 60 cubes or 216 thousands, and so on. The group beyond that would be the 60 to the fourth, and so forth. The maximum value that you can place in each of these groups is 60. For example, if you have 61 in the ones column, then you have 160 and 1, 1 remaining. So like our current place value system, there's some trading that can be done. It's also an additive system, which most, most many systems are. Additive means you add up the value of the various groups to come up with a number. And the placeholder was one of the unique aspects of Babylonian numbers. A placeholder represents essentially that there is no, there's none. So if you have a placeholder in a particular group, it means you have none of that group or zero. And that was what was unique. It was one of the first instances of the use of zero in uh, number history. So we're going to do a few conversions. Uh, first, of, first of all, convert a Babylonian number below to, uh, to a base 10 number, to our Hindu Arabic numbers. So let's think what we've got. We've got groups. We've got group number one. This is the number of ones. Group number two is the number of 60s. Group number three is our placeholder. So we've got zero, 60 squareds. And our third group, our fourth group rather, is the number of 60 cubes. Or cubed, I guess you should say. So this, this figure up the value of each one. And then as this is an additive, additive system, we'll add up those values. So we've got, for 60 cubes, remember that you've got 10, two tens, and a one. So you've got 21 60 cubes. But 60 cube is 216,000. So that's 21 times 216,000. And that equals, let me get my calculator out and we'll do a little bit of work here. Uh, 21 times 216,000 is uh, 4 million. 536,000 and 000, zero, zero. So that's our its base 10 equivalent. Uh, there are zero 60 squares because that's our placeholder. It means we have zero of that group. So the zero of those contributes zero to our total. The number of 60s, we've got three tens, 30 and six ones. And by the way, um, in Babylonian numbers, they often stack their, their ones like that. So I've got 36 sixties. So 36 times 60 to the first. And again, get your calculator handy. That is 36 times 60, which would be 2160. And lastly, in the ones column, you've got 40, so four tens and three ones. So you've got 43 ones, 60 to the zero are ones. So that adds 43. 
So to come up with the base 10 value of this Babylonian number, we just have to add the values, the values of the symbols in each in each grouping. We've got 4,000, uh, 4 million, excuse me, 536,000 plus 2160, and I'm just doing it on my calculator, plus 43 gives us a base 10 number of 4 million. 538,203. Now, the more challenging problem is not converting from Babylonian to base 10 numbers, but going the other direction, converting from a base 10 number to a Babylonian number. And I don't know if this is what it's actually called. I'm going to call it the greedy algorithm. So, greedy. Meaning, we're going to consider the, the place values. We've got 216 thousands. And by the way, what comes after 216 thousand for, if we had a fifth grouping, it would be uh, 60 raised to the, um, what is that, to the uh, fourth power. And that would be, oh my gosh, that is huge. That is 12 million 960,000. All right. We have none of those. There's no 60 to the fourths. So we have to consider the groupings. We've got 60 cubes, which are 216,000. We've got 60 squared. These are the place values, which are 3,600. We've got 60s and we've got 1s. So when I say be greedy, we're going to be greedy. And this is this is a process which we're going to use quite a bit. We're going to say, what's the largest thing we can take out? Well, we can take out some 216,000. To figure out how many, just divide 1,163,207 and divide that by essentially the largest value. So divide it by 216,000. That equals, so when you divide this number, when you take 216 into the value we're trying to convert, 1,163,207, that is 5 with a remainder, of, so it's 5 point when I do that division, 3, essentially 3, 8, 5 and change, so 3, 8, and on and on. What that says is we've got five 216,000 and a little bit more. So to figure out what's left, what the remainder is, what you need to do is take, so we've got five times 216,000, which is 100, uh, let's see, that is 1,080,000, 80,000, and that's it. So what's our remainder? Take the original number, 1,163,207, and subtract what we took away, the five 216,000s. So subtract 1,000,000. 80,000 and that leaves us with 83,207. Uh, so in the 216,000 groupings we would have no tens and just five ones. Now what we have remaining, so the remainder after we've taken away those five 216,000, we've got the remainder is 83,207. So you've gone on to the next grouping. There's no, we can't take eight, we can take no more 216,000. So we say how many 300, 3,600, excuse me, we can take out. So divide 83,207 by 3,600. That leaves us with 23, so that equals 23 
point one one three and change. What that means is we can take out twenty three thirty six hundreds. So twenty three would be two tens and three ones. Now what do we have? Well first of all we gotta figure out twenty three thirty six hundreds as twenty three times thirty six hundred which is eighty two thousand so twenty three times thirty six hundred equals eighty two thousand eight hundred so what we did is we subtracted eighty two thousand eight hundred from the remainder remember when we take out the five two hundred sixteen thousands we have a remainder of eighty three thousand two oh seven when we subtract eighty two thousand eight hundred from that so you take eighty three thousand two oh seven subtract eighty two thousand eight hundred and that leaves you with four hundred and seven okay so when I remove eighty two thousand eight hundred from my remaining my remainder I have four hundred and seven so just keep that process going we want to how many sixties can we take out of four hundred and seven we well, should know that that's six of them right because six sixties would be uh, three hundred and sixty if you took out tried to take out seven sixties it would be four hundred and twenty you can't do that so we're going to remove six sixties and six sixties so six times sixty is equal to three hundred and sixty subtract our remainder 407 take away the 360 and that equals 47 we can take away no more 60s so we have 47 ones remaining one through four tens seven ones uh, oh that would be wrong we don't have a placeholder there excuse me so one two three four five six seven that says that our base 10 number as a Babylonian number would be represented by <coughs> excuse me five two hundred sixteen thousands twenty three thirty six hundreds six sixties and forty seven in general be greedy take out the largest number you can how many do you need subtract it from the initial number get your remainder move to the next column take out as many 3600s as you can subtract so this would be remainder one this would be remainder two we can take out 360s that would leave us with a remainder three and keep working down from from large to small until you've taken out all the numbers that you can.